is something else. A man who has exploded on the scene, Intercontinental Champion, the Ultimate Warrior. Hulk Hogan, the WrestleMania 6. I bring you the one and only Ultimate Challenge. Ultimate Warrior, me and my Hulkamaniacs put the championship on the line. The main event in WrestleMania 6, the Ultimate Warrior squaring off against Hulk Hogan. Oh, hi. Wait a minute. They're going to go at it. There's not going to be any WrestleMania. They're going to go at it right now. When I said that WrestleMania 6 was more intense than all five WrestleManias put together, I meant it, brothers. You are about to enter a world close to parts unknown. WrestleMania 6, the most important day for the rest of our lives. Do you, Hulk Hogan, look for a place to hide? Or do you face that challenge? What's it gonna do when the largest arms in the world run wild on you? You will know, Hulk Hogan, who is the chosen one. This is the main event of WrestleMania 6. It is scheduled for one fall, and it is title for title. Introducing first, weighing 275 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, the Ultimate Warrior. Listen to the ovation for the Ultimate Warrior, and here he comes. He's running to the ring. I think that's a mistake. He should be conserving his strength right here. He's facing the challenge of his life, JR. Well, you may have a point there, King. However, the Warrior looks to be in great shape. And this crowd is going bananas. 67,000 plus have waited for this moment, JR. And it's going to be interesting as the crowd seems split 50-50. It's a toss-up. The same as the match. And his opponent, from Venice Beach, California, weighing 303 pounds, the WWE Champion, Hulk Hogan. And there he is, Hulk Hogan, the WWE Champion. It is deafening in here. The crowd response is unbelievable. I'm not even going to try to talk over this crowd, JR. Champion against champion title for title this is what it's all about this is what has brought 67,000 strong to wrestlemania 6 and they are ready both men are in tremendous physical condition jr you notice how hogan took his time coming to the ring the warriors already sweating more oh that's a sign jr The ultimate challenge is on, ladies and gentlemen. This record-setting crowd firmly split between WWE Champion Hulk Hogan and the Intercontinental Champion, the Ultimate Warrior. Winner takes all, JR. The world has clamored for this match since the two cross paths in the Royal Rumble. Hogan called Warrior out, and Warrior said yes. I have never heard a crowd so split down the middle. It's as if they want to cheer for both men, but can't. One way or the other, JR, tonight we make WWE history for the first time ever. One man will hold both major titles in the WWE. The punch connects. Uh-oh, here comes the Warrior with that trademark offense that's so devastating. Ouch. Warrior bringing the fight to Hogan, and Hogan is feeling it. Hogan isn't used to competing against someone who can match Hogan's power. And I would imagine... Look out! A double clothesline. Oh, what an epic match. Both men are down. I don't even 
think the ref wants to end it this way. He's counting very slowly, giving these two the time to recover and continue this epic confrontation. These two men are almost equally matched. For the life of me, I can't really pick a clear winner. When the stakes are this high, JR, you leave it all in the ring. The Warrior is up. Hogan is up. The count has stopped. This match will continue. Connects. Turns it around on him, and what a move. Look at the strength behind those strikes. The two tie up, testing their strength. Listen to that chop echo throughout the arena. an elbow drop. Trouble is setting in for the ultimate one. Good Lord Almighty. Oh, big DDT. That could be it. Now a quick kick. He made that reversal look easy. An atomic drop. Compressing the spine. Net. Oh, lights out. How in the world did he counter that? These two men are almost equally matched. For the life of me, I can't really pick a clear winner. Which one is going to survive? Well, right now, Hogan is clearly feeling the power of the warrior. I think it's a bit premature to call it for the Warrior just yet, King. Never underestimate the power of Hulk Hogan and the Legion of Hulkamaniacs. Well, Hulkamania has never had to deal with the power of the Ultimate Warrior, though. This is new territory for everybody tonight. Good God, he was so close. So close to turning the tables. Damn it. Hulk Hogan sent down to the canvas with big-time authority. Here he comes. The power of the warrior is forward. Look at this. Look at the strength here. Going to a pin. Here's the cover. Hogan showing his experience there. And his attack misses. Now that's the on the verge in a long two count. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna have to come up with something better than that if you want to beat Hulk Hogan, brother. Bam! Nicely avoided there. He's got him up. The Hulkster is holding on for dear life. Oh, JR, I have seen every title defense by the Hulkster, and I have never seen anything like this. Never have I seen the Hulkster in trouble like he is in right now. Man, jeez. Yeah. 
Chip here. And he grabs the ropes. And a kick out. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. Ow. Big left hand. He's got him. Oh. Oklahoma Stampede. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. Look at the strength behind those strikes. Hey, he's going for it again. No, that's it. Here he comes. The power of the warrior. Look at this. Look at the strength. He's going for the pin. Here's three. He's done it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Making his way to the ring, weighing 310 pounds, the WWE Champion, Sergeant Slaughter. The WWE Champion, Sergeant Slaughter, has turned his back on America. Well, Slaughter reinvented himself wrote a whole new playbook. If Hogan expects to win this match and the WWE title, he'll have to pull out all the stops. It is easier to keep the title than it is to win it. Hogan will have to dig deep if he expects to defeat Sergeant Slaughter. And introducing the challenger from Venice Beach, California, weighing 303 pounds, the immortal Hulk Hogan. It's mayhem here in the City of Angels. It's Hulk Hogan. I have never heard an ovation like this for anyone in my life. Hulk Hogan waving old glory as he makes his way to the ring. Looks to be in the best shape of his entire life.
can feel the electricity here tonight. Sergeant Slaughter versus Hulk Hogan. This is about so much more than the WWE Championship. This is about American pride. Slaughter returned to the WWE with a new attitude. Slaughter is looking for any advantage that he can get. He'll stop at nothing tonight. Hulk Hogan is not just fighting for the WWE Championship, but for all of America. Sergeant Slaughter won the WWE Championship from the Ultimate Warrior at the Royal Rumble. Hulk Hogan won the Royal Rumble match for the second year in a row, which guaranteed him a WWE title shot tonight. Oh, that's right, JR. But it wasn't until Hulk Hogan learned that Slaughter was defacing the American flag at the Royal Rumble that this match turned personal. Hulk Hogan is a Patriot missile, ready to explode at any moment. Hogan wants that WWE title bad, but he wants to make Sergeant Slaughter pay for turning his back on the USA. Slaughter shocked the world when he returned to the WWE after a five-year absence and as an Iraqi sympathizer. The former Marine drill instructor has abandoned his country. We are seeing history made here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This champion... Oh! The end could go... Oh! Lights out! There's the cover out of the end. He's finished. The old fat lady singing, boys. It's done. Here is your winner and new WWE Champion, Hulk Hogan. He got him. Hogan did it for WWE and the United States of America. History has been made tonight. An unprecedented three-time winner of the WWE title, Hulk Hogan, the WWE Champ once again. Undoubtedly, this has been the most memorable night in WWE history, and you are a part of it. I've never seen anything quite like this. The gold, once again, around the waist of Hulk Hogan. Ric Flair, the dirtiest player in the game, made waves when he debuted in WWE. To be the man, you have to beat the man! But no waves were greater than the ones he made when he chose to target Macho Man Randy Savage and Miss Elizabeth. Look at this, Gene Okuda. Look at this, everyone. Woo! You know what this means? It means Randy Savage Elizabeth was mine before she was yours. Woo! Here we are in her living room, on her sofa, where we spent so many enjoyable hours. Woo! As Flair continued his public verbal assault on the integrity of Miss Elizabeth, Macho Man kept quiet and refused interviews. What makes you so macho? What makes you a man? What makes you a savage? You put the three together, and when you put them against this man, you come up a loser. Savage, WrestleMania 8, the big show. It's you and me. With Mr. Perfect in his corner and Savage pushed to his breaking point, Ric Flair looked poised to retain the WWE Championship and forever tarnish the names of Miss Elizabeth and the Macho Man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
and is for the WWE Championship. Approaching the ring, accompanied by Mr. Perfect from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 232 pounds, the WWE Champion, Rick Flair. This is what it's all about. The goal is on the line. The WWE Championship, helped by Ric Flair, and Macho Man wants it back. Now, if you want to be fair to Flair, you got to be fair and say, that's one heck of a road. Confidence oozing out of the reigning champion, Ric Flair. Introducing the challenger from Sarasota, Florida, weighing 245 pounds, Macho Man, Randy Savage. Listen to this place go crazy. A standing ovation for the Macho Man. Oh, this match is going to make history, JR. All the weeks of humiliation and frustration, all the verbal taunts and the alleged photos of Miss Elizabeth. And now it's all come to this. Ric Flair may have done himself no favors in enraging Macho Man as much as he has. Ladies and gentlemen, Macho Man Randy Savage versus Ric Flair for the WWE Championship. Well, let's go ahead and get this out of the way right now. Ric Flair is the man, but he has enraged Randy Savage like I have never seen before. That's true, King. Over the past few months, Ric Flair has antagonized Macho Man with alleged pictures of Miss Elizabeth and Ric Flair in romantic. Savage is motivated like never before fighting for the love of his life, fighting for the honor of Miss Elizabeth. Oh, Savage isn't thinking like a man who wants to win a title. He just wants to tear Flair apart. Well, let's be honest, King. If there is one man whose woman you don't disrespect, it's Randy Savage. Well, Macho Man can be a control freak, and the antics of Flair and Mr. Perfect have sought to push him over the edge. That's a dangerous game to play with Randy Savage. I guess he's just going to hang back for now. You know, I got a feeling that sooner or later, he's going to find a way to... Oh, no! Oh, we got him! Oh, what's he going to do to follow that up? Oh, a reversal! Oh! He's got him up! Oh, big body slam! Oh, did you see that knee? Ah! Rick Flair is getting what he deserves. You can only push Macho Man so far to invade his own Macho Man. Perched on that top rope. Like we've seen him so many times. We, we got to... What is that? Oh, come on. Perfect broke up the three cam. Come on, somebody do something. The ref trying to separate Perfect and Savage. Wait, Perfect gave something to Flair. Flair with something in his hand. Flair used that four and object on Savage, and Macho Man is down. This match has taken so much out of this guy, he's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. Oh, submission! The hold's locked in! This is such a painful hold! Blocks it. Oh, nice counter. He's going for the pin. Two, three, this one. Elizabeth 
in the ring to celebrate. And where is Irate? Where? That's a good kiss right on Elizabeth. Elizabeth going right after Blair. Oh! And now it's Mayhem. Here is your winner and new WWE champion, Macho Man, Randy Savage. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger, weighing 505 pounds, Yokozuna. It would seem that the odds would be in favor of that man, Yokozuna. As soon as... And his opponent, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, the WWE Champion, Red Hitman Hart. Listen to this ovation from the legendary Wrestling Hart family. There's the Hitman. It has been a hellacious week for this young man. But he is here, and he is ready to fight. Yokozuna has not once looked away from the WWE Championship around Brett's waist. He is focused and ready for this challenge. The WWE Championship means so... Breathe. 
A very effective Irish whip. Yokozuna is on a mission tonight. And when you get a man his size motivated, it's hard to stop him. Brett is down, and he took the turnbuckle with him. Oh, that exposed turnbuckle is very dangerous. It can turn the tide of a match. Yokozuna goes face first into the exposed steel of the top turnbuckle. the sharpshooter applied. Brett's got it locked in. Wait a minute. Mr. Fuji just threw something into the eyes of Bret Hart. And the ref didn't see it. Here's the body press. Bret Hart is trying all that he can. Here is your winner and new WWE champion, Yokozuna. Bret Hart had Yokozuna in the sharpshooter until Mr. Fuji threw ceremonial salt in the hitman's eyes. Hogan! Hogan, you big man! Bye, Yokozuna! Hogan! Bye, Yokozuna! It's your challenge. If any intestinal fortitude, you would accept my Yokozuna challenge. Come on! Come on, you yellow belly! Come on! Brett's telling Hogan to go Come for on. it. And Hulk Hogan is in the ring! Wait a minute. Oh, no! Fuji going for the salt and trying to blind Hogan. And he hits Yokozuna by mistake! The WWE title changing hands two times. What a day it has been, and what a way to end WrestleMania 9. by modern-day titans, powerful warriors. The ultimate warrior! Gallant competitors. Macho Man Randy Savage. And immortal icons. Hulkamania is running wild! All fortifying their legacy through acts of valor and feats of strength. Look at this! He slammed him! Giant. But as time passed, a new generation of heroes emerged. Flamboyant show stealers. The heartbreak kid. Excellent executors. The best there ever will be. And gaudy bad guys. Rise up. All on the rise in WWE. From the Hitman Heart, just gain the championship. Biggest dreams can still come true. With the fall and departure of Hulkamania from WWE, this wave of brash, unapologetic, and charismatic superstars displayed an explosive in-ring style unlike any generation before it. And launched the careers of future WWE Hall of Famers. An excellence of execution. And let's face it, with a new generation.
A historical event, WrestleMania 10, Madison Square Garden, Sunday afternoon, March 20th, with an unprecedented match. And who better to give it to you? Shawn Michaels, a ladder match. Two belts hanging at the top of Madison Square Garden, along with all those people hanging from the rafters. The Heartbreak Kid is gonna be up there taking what is rightfully his, the IC belt. Yo, boy toy, you say you're the real champ? I say I. Too much confusion. WrestleMania 10, Chico? Somebody gonna decide. If it takes a ladder, man, no problem. There's no rules, no ref, no time limit. Somebody, Chico, leaves WrestleMania the real champ. Ladies and gentlemen, in the following contest, yes, there are no rules. The only way to win is to ascend the ladder and remove both belts to become the undisputed Intercontinental Champion. Introducing first, a company. Shawn Michaels has his sights set on Razor Ramon and the Intercontinental Championship hanging over the ring. And his opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing 289 pounds, Razor Ramon. You're talking about the bad guy. Take a look at him. Here he comes right now. I can tell you one thing. This is going to be a grueling matchup. Who will climb the ladder of success and become the undisputed Intercontinental Champion here at WrestleMania 10? As far as I'm concerned, Shawn Michaels is the undisputed Intercontinental Champion. The original champ. Never beaten for the title. What else can you say? This capacity crowd is ready to witness the first ever WrestleMania ladder match. These two have been battling since the fall of 1993. HBK was stripped of the Intercontinental Championship due to inactivity. Right. And after that completely unjust action, Razor Ramon defeated Rick Martel. Razor Ramon sending HBK a message. If you want my Intercontinental title, you're going to have to take it from the bad guy. I think HBK would disagree with you about who the true Intercontinental Champion is, JR. HBK wasn't fulfilling his contractual obligations and was stripped of the Intercontinental Championship if HVK has a problem with that, he should look in the mirror. But he never lost the title, JR. He was wrongfully stripped of the championship. And now he has to win his own championship back. Oh, what an underhanded move. And he hits him with an impressive combination of kicks. Never before have we seen two extraordinary competitors compete in a ladder match at WrestleMania. I don't think I have ever seen HBK be tested quite the way he's being tested tonight against Razor Ramon. Razor off the ropes. Oh, look out. Razor Ramon's going down to the outside, right in front of us. When it matters most, HBK always rises to the occasion. It's easy to rise to the occasion when you have a monster like Diesel lifting you up. Diesel coming in the tall clothesline. A clothesline right in front of the ref. He's thrown out of the garden. Diesel's going to be thrown out of WrestleMania 10. This is 
is definitely going to even things out. It absolutely will, King. Listen to this crowd. Listen to this response. And the emotion just comes pouring out. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. Folks, Ramon is just waiting to get his man in the right position. That's it. He's out. This is over. No. He kicked out. He kicked out. He's showing signs of life. This contest is just so some people call Shawn Michaels arrogant. One can't help but think that Shawn underestimated Razor Ramon tonight. Come on, Shawn. All right, I'll admit it. I'm a little worried now. I didn't expect Razor Ramon to test HBK to his limits. Razor Ramon is showing HBK exactly what happens when you cross the bad guy. Come on, Sean. Don't let him steal your title again. <laughs> now that's brute force. Razor Ramon is just incredible. sort of thing that ends careers, JR. The self-proclaimed bad guy will go to any lengths to defend his title here tonight. Here we go! Razor's Edge! Shawn Michaels with a desperation move sends Razor Ramon to the concrete. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. Back into the ring now. Looks like the aggression is going to be turned up. Better come in to play again. Oh, that should do it. I mean, how much punishment do you have to do in this match? And now constructing a diabolical setup with that ladder. Oh, and he strikes that ladder with unbelievable force. Big power bomb. Hey, hey, easy with that. Oh, how close. Smashes him with the ladder. Man, I think something snapped inside that brain. Here we go. Look at this. He just barely. Here we go. The title may be coming down right now. I think he almost has it. It won't take long now. Oh, no. Oh, what a ball. What a match this is. Truly one for the history books. Sean Michaels looks to be in no man's land. Oh, he's decided he's going up. will call Shawn Michaels Aaron. Here is your winner and new undisputed WWE Intercontinental Champion, Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon has done it. He has captured both Intercontinental titles. I can't believe it. Razor is the undisputed WWE Intercontinental Champion. But at what price? What did it cost him? I don't think either of these superstars will ever be the same. These matches leave a permanent mark on you. What a matchup with Shawn Michaels.
WrestleMania 10 stands to be one of the greatest challenges of my entire career. Because I was robbed of the title one year from WrestleMania, but I'll say one thing, when it comes to the excellence of execution, I got what it takes to get past Yokozuna. I'm gonna fight fire with fire. You are just another opponent, and I will wipe you out. You're looking at the champion. How is Bret Hart gonna keep himself in one piece against the colossal champion? We've seen Yokozuna chew up and spit out so many competitors. Does Bret stand a chance going into WrestleMania? The massive Yokozuna clashes with the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be at WrestleMania 10. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Approaching the ring, accompanied by Mr. Fuji, weighing 505 pounds, the WWE Champion, Yokozuna. And now, Yokozuna will square off against Bret the Hitman Hart. What kind of condition physically is Bret Hart in? What kind of condition mentally is Bret Hart in? And that may be the key right there. Well, that's right. Physically, he's probably been in worse shape before, but mentally and emotionally, never. He's got to be at the lowest point in his career, and that's what's gonna spell doom for Bret Hart. Yokozuna, unquestionably a monster. And his opponent, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, Rick Hitman Hart. The question is, can the Hitman do it? Oh, wait a minute. Ring the bell, he says. Yokozuna wasted no time at all. This is Bret Hart's second consecutive WrestleMania main event against Yokozuna, and it's for the WWE Championship. Well, this all started when Lex Luger and Bret both won the Royal Rumble when they both touched the ground at the same time. That's right, King. A coin toss determined who would face Yokozuna first. Luger won the coin toss, but lost his match earlier in the evening. Bret Hart remembers last year when Yokozuna defeated him for the WWE Championship. Bret is determined to not repeat the nightmare of WrestleMania 9. History has a way of repeating itself, JR. Yokozuna wants to make his own history again. Bret Hart is bound and determined to take advantage of his opportunity tonight, King. Brent's waited for a year to get a shot at the WWE Championship after losing at WrestleMania 9. This might be his last chance. And that one hurt his hand. After that, you might think differently before swinging again. There's the kick. Oh, reversal. Oh. Andy strikes with a quick kick. the size of Yokozuna, it's impressive that anyone can hold their own against him. 
Well, it's one thing to hold your own against Yokozuna, but it's entirely another thing to beat him. Bret Hart, the son of the legendary Stu Hart, and trained in the famous... This is turning into a slobber knocker. Bret Hart setting it up. Look at this. The referee is watching this one closely. The uh, referee watching the submission closely. He's probably enjoying it. Yokozuna's number. Yokozuna is in serious trouble at the hands. Wait a minute. Ah! Yokozuna, unquestionably a monster. Yokozuna is on a mission tonight. Yes! Drag that broken down piece of garbage over there. Finish him. Yokozuna's going up. The hitman Bret Hart's not moving. I can't believe what I've seen. He slipped. Yokozuna going for a massive bonsai drop. Slipped and fell. He looks knocked out to me, JR. He's seeing stars. There's a cover. Two. That's three. Here is your winner. And WWE Champion, Rock Hitman Hart. We have a new champion. Bret Hart has reclaimed the WWE Championship. Yokozuna can't believe it. The big man went for the bonsai drop. He lost his footing and seemingly knocked himself out. Well, that made easy pickings for Bret Hart.